Hi, today we will look into one of the Java uh, concept to show wildcard characters using Java collections with uh, user defined classes. Now let us consider we have a requirement very similar to this where you have a class called as car where you have a class called as truck and uh, car moves and truck moves now car also has fuel capacity and uh, truck also has fuel capacity now i want to have a varied method here for car called as how fast it can go from uh, 0 to 60 that's what you have it in the car and in the truck you have way capacity now to take an advantage of uh, java what we want to do is we want to introduce polymorphism so when we think of polymorphism we could go with uh, abstract classes or you could even use uh, interfaces in my case i'm going to use uh, interface let's consider i have an interface something called as uh, vehicle now i have an attribute out there which is called as vehicle make and i have a move so in order to take the advantage of it what i do is i put my vehicle interface up there and i would write something like implement a vehicle as an interface so that you are overriding some common methods which are there in the vehicle interface and i also have implements uh, vehicle out there for truck as well so you have move 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 and of course we try having vehicle make which is uh, uh, the variable here since it's an interface you are not allowed to keep it here what I do is I'll chop this out and uh, put it here maybe if you have abstract class you would have done that and I'll also have vehicle make out there that's perfectly fine so this is what pretty much my class look like let's get started i use eclipse so let me go back here uh, let me try creating an interface now into a package called as com dot naveen so i'm gonna have an interface which is called as i vehicle now here let's have a method out there which is called as public void move so that's what one of the method which you have got anybody who implements this interface has to override this method called as move now if i go back and have a look at the uh, class which is called as car i'll have vehicle uh, make i'm gonna have a couple of more attributes let's consider i'll have a getters and setters for fuel tank capacity and 0 to 60 so we'll have tank uh, capacity and uh, uh, 0 to 60 right so that's what it looks like let's go back and try creating a class out there I call this class called as car which implements an interface which is called as I vehicle I'll say okay here I go now I have an implementation of that so let's gonna have let's have a few variables out there the first variable which we tried having is vehicle make i'm gonna copy this i'll say this as string vehicle make just to make sure that it is encapsulated i'll say private vehicle make and since it's a car class we have tank capacity and 0 to 60. so what i do is uh, i'm gonna paste this tank capacity is integer value and 0 to 60 i want to know how many seconds does it take so i keep it like 0 to 60. so i want some constructors out there i want to make this class partial mutable so let's go to source and generate uh, constructor using fields let me say okay i just want a few more getters and setters for display purpose i'm gonna go with getters and setters here let me have a check 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 where i want to get the tank capacity i don't want to have a setter out there vehicle make i want only the getter 0 to 60 i can have getter out there perfectly fine now that's what your class look like so since it is a move i can have a method out there which says like okay now here who is moving it uh car of make make vehicle 
that's gonna be vehicle make is moving with the speed or let's say it's moving that's pretty fine now I gonna have another class which is called as a truck where this class also implements i vehicle let's say finish we have few more properties there we got vehicle make we have uh, uh, fuel tank capacity that's what uh, we have it let's say i would have private string vehicle make private int uh, I'll have tank capacity city and let's see if we could have vehicle weigh capacity so weigh capacity is the max capacity uh, private int weigh capacity so you're gonna go back and uh, try having the constructor for all the fields say okay let's see what getters and setters do we need i go and select getters and setters uh, i want a getter for this i want a getter for this and i need the getter for this now out of your interest if you want to make this as immutable class you can go and select uh, set weight capacity so i'm not all that interested let me say okay now here i'm gonna say hey who is moving it moving is a truck of the make called vehicle make so that's pretty much your class now over a course of time what you can do is you can have your own implementation or you may have multiple classes out there let's assume that i want to store multiple classes i want to have multiple uh, trucks to be stored now one good idea to store is like uh, arrays but we don't use arrays here since uh, we want to know how does is how it is stored in the collection now what i do is i use a set of uh, values to be stored so let me go back and uh, maybe like if you are a little fascinated you can uh try knowing few things out there where in the class called as car if i don't want the duplicates to be kept i can go to source and you have a beautiful option here which is called as generate hash code and equals which is given by eclipse you can click on that so that duplicates are taken out and i'm gonna do the same for a uh, truck as well i go and generate this and say okay perfectly fine so you got like uh, hash code and equals of course you can try writing your own algorithm out there now let's gonna have a class which is called as uh, uh, vehicle client now uh, since if I just go back to the basic concepts of uh, polymorphism in Java we always say that uh, the super class can always hold a reference of subclass now doing so in collection is not allowed let's try knowing it i want to have a set of uh, what type i'll say let's say vehicle uh, vehicle let me do control space here i vehicle of uh, let's consider vehicles is equal to new I want to store it in a hash set now hash set I don't store the vehicle rather I want to store a car but if I try having a look at this this gives you a problem which says that type mismatch cannot convert from hash set of car to I vehicle so we clearly say that we don't support anything called as uh, polymorphism when it comes to object creation so let me get rid of this code and put a semicolon out there so i've got like vehicles uh, out there now what kind of vehicles do i need i need a set of car which is uh, called as cars is equal to new uh, hash set of let's say car now that's what the first set we're gonna have it we will also have set of truck and uh, uh, let's call it like trucks is equal to new hash set of uh, truck 
this is perfectly fine so let's try having <laughs> uh, cars dot add new car so I'm trying to put few uh, car let's say the make is BMW the tank capacity is like uh, uh, 120 liters and 0 to 60 that can go in 5 seconds so that's what we have it let's put a couple of more i gonna have uh, rd i will have uh, somebody out there as uh, ford right so i give a little varied number uh 05 this is gonna take you in eight seconds this will take you in six seconds i hope this should be clear now I'll also have a truck truck start add I would say new truck let's have the make I'll have Volvo the tank capacity is like let's put it like 500 and uh, they can weigh up to 3000 kgs so let me put Volvo I'll have man I'll have uh, Tata so let's have uh, like uh, 600 700 so their weighing capacity is like 5000 4000 etc etc now you you may have a requirement now to display all these things what I can do is I can store this in uh, vehicles of uh, is equal to cars I could go back and uh, try displaying it but let me take the mouse on top of that and check what went wrong here oh it says type mismatch cannot convert from set to vehicle okay so even when you try storing it they don't allow you to store it right so I want to display the values which are there if not invariably what happens you got a class you got a truck you have a Jeep and so many different type of cars trucks and so on you will end up having so many methods rather Java provides wildcard characters let's have a look at this how do I go about it now I'll have a public static void method now let me call this method called as display now this guy called as display We'll take a set of i vehicle, which is uh, I may little a little change it extends. Oh, I try saying it. Hey, look at this display. I will get somebody. I don't know who it is, but they will extend i vehicle, which internally what JVM does is they do an instance of it. I'll say vehicles. Let me put it here. Let me use a for loop for displaying it. I would say hey for uh, I vehicle temp in uh, vehicles perfectly fine now I gonna say temp dot if you have a look at that move oh it gives you move that seems to be pretty fine let me click on play and check if things go well oh I gotta invoke this let's say this is display of cars I would say somebody out there as display of truck okay so just to make a little more clear I would have a separator out there let's put a separator I would click on play right so I would say hey BMW is moving Ford is moving Audi is moving I also have people like man Tata Volvo are all moving now let's go back and check in i vehicle you got move now since car overrode the method called as move and even truck has overridden a method called as move it all works fine but if you look at that these guys have got little more methods now there are some common methods which is like get vehicle make uh, get vehicle make which is there but it is only an instance of car or truck so what I do is let me come back I would say hey if the temp is instance of car for the first instance I will say hey 
attempt at vehicle get the vehicle make since this vehicle make when you do it on top of it it gives you a string i'll put it in system dot out dot println let me close it so i would just say vehicle make is this now car has tank capacity so let's go back and say uh, the method here if you have a look at that it says get tank I'm sorry that's going to be get tank capacity in the class called as car i would say system dot out dot println uh, tank capacity just to make sure it is stem dot get okay so let's uh, put it this way i'll have temp out there which is typecaster to car and uh, this guy car will give you get tank capacity and uh, he will also have the car from 0 to 60 is uh, this let me copy it a little bit from here to here get 0 to 60 perfectly fine so now when I click on play right it says that uh, let me give a clean separator here I'll have a short separator uh, let's put asterisks out there good All right so let me go back the car make is of BMW that's BMW the camp tank capacity is 120 that goes from 0 to 50 with 5 seconds the Ford has got tank capacity of 105 then ranges from 0 to 50 uh, for 8 seconds and so on so I made a typo here let's say it like 60 right else if temp is instance of truck so then what common methods I get it let's have a look at that I have uh, in the truck you got this getter of uh, get vehicle make uh, vehicle make is vehicle make that's perfectly fine but this time i may have to do a little job temp type cast it to truck truck then surround this with a parenthesis and put a dot so that's a method invocation i would copy this and put it a couple of times there you got vehicle make get tank capacity you have get tank capacity tank capacity then you have uh, the last method which is called get way capacity get way capacity way capacity all right so let me click on play right let's have a look at the output now this is what it looks like now this is for all the cars this is for all the trucks here you go so you have successfully used the wildcard characters of uh, java provided function where it can help you to display but you cannot manipulate thank you for watching